Good morning, River Heights, and everybody else, too. All right, it is good to see you here this morning. Oh, it is gorgeous outside. Get out there and enjoy it. Last couple weeks before school starts. Um, yeah, maybe we'll have a little heat wave here uh, going into September. That would be kind of cool. That'd be kind of great. Um, man, happy Monday, everybody. Ah, totally happy Monday. So, yeah, it's about 10.05. A little late, but you know what? We're here and we're doing this thing called life together. And it's exciting. So, good morning, Chris. Yay. Um, today, I wanted to take a look at a psalm. I love psalms. Psalms and Proverbs are great. If you ever need encouragement, if you ever need uplifting for something if you ever need to get through something just you just need a pick me up read a psalm read a proverb um yeah that's going to help you out a lot um obviously there are some psalms that are going to help you out in certain situations but read a psalm or two um and god will pick you up with that um so today i wanted to take a gander at psalm 37 so just want to look at that psalm this morning. Good morning, Denise. I got to get back to you. I will. Um, so yeah, I will. Um, I'm going to pray for us, and then we're going to take a gander at again Psalm 37. So, God, we thank you for who you are. Holy Spirit, come. We just thank you for uh, this day that you've made, and as you say in your word, let us rejoice, be glad in it, uh, because you are there, and. Um, yeah, God, you are the reason why we're here. And we thank you for revealing yourself to us today. Um, in some way, shape, or form, reveal yourself to us, Holy Spirit. Um, if we need some type of healing today, may, may it be done today. We just thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so Psalm 37, we're going to take a look at. Uh, all right, Denise, I will, yeah. I will be praying and I'm going to give you, I'll give you a shout out here in a little while. So, um, you know, with that, Denise, thank you. You reminded me if there's ever, and I'll say this again at the end, if you ever need, um, have a prayer request, need to ask a question or chat, you can email me at, it's my email is Jeff at river heights or six, five, one, eight, two, nine, one, nine, five, two. Um, hi, Sue. Again, 651-829-1952. Uh, let's chat. I can pray for you. Love to pray for people. So that would be great. Um, yeah, Psalm 37. Let's check that out. Uh, we're going to read. It's it's not very long. Well, I mean, it is long. It's like 40 verses long. But we're going to read the first maybe 10, give or take, nine verses. So, um, all right. David says this, don't worry about the wicked or envy those who do wrong. For like grass, they soon fade away. Like spring flowers, they soon wither. Trust in the Lord and do good. Then you will live safely in the land and prosper. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you your heart's desires. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust him and he will help you. He will make your innocence radiate like the dawn and the justice of your cause will shine like the noonday sun. Excuse me. Good morning, Tony. Be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. Don't worry about evil people who prosper or fret about their wicked schemes. Stop being angry. Turn from your rage. Do not lose your temper. It only leads to harm, for the wicked will be destroyed, but those who trust in the Lord will possess the land. Soon the wicked will disappear. Though you look for them, they will be gone. The lowly will possess the land and will live in peace and prosperity. And I love this passage because it's talking about um, people who worry about what other people think. They worry about what they don't have. And... Well, those people seem to be getting everything they want and those people seem to be reaping the benefits 
uh, while doing not so good things. And maybe they're not great people. And they life seems to be going great for them. And God is saying here, God is saying, look, be patient. Be patient. Be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. And that's the thing is we get very impatient. I am a very impatient person. And man, ever since I was in ministry a long time ago, good morning, Dale. Uh, when I was in ministry a long time ago, I just, I pushed forward. I wasn't patient. It's like I went way out in front of God and then I would turn around and go, oh, where's God? Oh God, I'm sorry. And so we get in front of God and then we were like out in front going, wait, where have you ever, if you have kids, you stop, you're walking with your kids and you stop and they keep walking and then they realize you're not there and they look around and then they start to get all panicked and, and then they fret and they're like, no, where's my, and then they turn around and look, it's like, oh, I wasn't waiting. I wasn't being patient. I wasn't paying attention to what my dad was doing or my mom was doing. And that's how we are. We get out in front of God. We don't pay attention. We just keep going day in and day out with daily routine. And we like, what? Where, where's God? Where's he at? Oh, he's right there behind us. Oh, jeepers. I got out in front of him again. And so just be patient. Don't worry about what's going out in front of you. Don't worry about um, what other people have or don't have. Wait on God and listen to him. And he will speak to you. And it may be, I know a lady who, I know uh, a lady who prayed for her husband for 20 years to receive Jesus. And he finally did. An amazing thing. That happened a few years ago, but it was an amazing thing. And then he got baptized. It was awesome. But she prayed for 20 years. So we've got to be patient. Don't push the issue. So maybe you're going through something right now and you are... You're like, oh God, is, is this the time? Is this the time? Is this the time? I think God is telling you be patient and he will tell you when it's time. I, I just, again, I think of kids and, and we are his kids. He said that we're, we're his kids. And so uh, we are a part of his family and he is our, our heavenly father. And, and we as kids get impatient. And then if we don't hear from God, it's like, well, God isn't there. God isn't talking. God is, God is distant. Well, that's not true. God is always with us. He's always there for us. And sometimes we just need to wait and be okay with that. And that's the hard part is being okay with that. Sometimes we even mistake that for uh, God not answering our prayers. And that's not true either. God does answer prayers. He always answers prayers. Uh, may not be in the time frame we want him to. It may not be the answer that we are looking for. Um, it may be a different type of answer. So it's just, that's why we just got to be patient. I love that. Just be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. Allow him to do his thing. As we say nowadays, um, you do you, God, you do you and I'm going to wait. I'm just going to wait on you. And that's the thing. And then, because what happens is I love this because in verse eight, he says, stop being angry. Turn from your rage. Do not lose your temper. It only leads to harm because <laughs> for the wicked will be destroyed, but those who trust in the Lord will possess the land. Because when we get impatient, we get irritated. We get frustrated. We get angry. We get, you know, we start thinking and saying and doing things that we might regret. So I would encourage you, be patient, be still in the presence of the Lord. Again, this is Psalm 37, Psalm 37, and it's one through, uh, one through nine. One through nine, Psalm 37, one through nine. And it's just being patient on the Lord, being patient. Um, all right, Denise, that's awesome. I can't wait to hear the story about that. Um, but yeah, everybody who's on here, if you can pray for Denise and her daughter and kids, here's the thing. It's sometimes it's okay not to know exactly what's happening because then we can hear from the Holy Spirit and hear what God has to say about that issue. And um, you know what? Let's just pray for that right now. So Holy Spirit, just come. Uh, not sure what is happening, but God, we know that um, 
sometimes we get way out in front and it sounds like Denise's daughter uh, might be, might just need to wait on you. And so God, I just pray for patience. I pray for uh, Holy Spirit, just pray for that patience with her and her kids, her, grand, her daughter and her, kid, her grandkids. And God, I just pray that you would just come and reveal yourself. Make yourself known. Yeah, God, just come. We just thank you. We lift them up to you. And Denise too, God, we lift her up to you just to, to help her daughter, to help her daughter understand um, that God may have a different plan. To just wait and be patient. So God, we just thank you for your patience with us. So yeah, that's the thing is, you know, we, we, um, we do, we get impatient. And when we get impatient, we get irritated, we get frustrated which leads to anger, which can lead to rage and short tempers, you know, the short fuse aspect. Um, God loves us and he cares for us. He's always talking to us. It's just a matter of if we're listening or not. And so we can't listen when we're way out in front or way, you know, way off to the side. We can't, we can't hear him. We can't hear his voice. So I would encourage you to just, as it says, be still in the presence of the Lord. So to be in the presence of somebody, you have to wait on them. Um, and be there by them. So wait on the presence of the Lord. Wait for him. Um, and I love that because it says, trust in the Lord and do good, then you will safely, uh, you will live safely in the land and prosper. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you your heart's desires. And we believe that today. It's God's word. We believe God's word. Um, he loves us and he cares for us. He's committed to us. Are we committed to him? Let me pray for us this morning. Holy Spirit, we just thank you for our time here this morning. Thank you for your word that just washes over us. Uh, God, I just think of how how clean we can, we can be with your word and, and it just cleanses us. It's like a scrub brush, God. It's just... Your word is like that scrub brush that gets off those uh, nagging uh, scuff marks and those uh, really crusty things that stick to us, God. And you, your word just scrubs that off and makes us clean again. And so, God, I just pray for us today, myself included, just for patience. That's one of the fruits of the Spirit, patience. So God, give us that. We, we, we really want that. We desire that. We seek that, God. We just thank you. Um, help us to, to just help our eyes to be open to see what you're doing, our ears to be attentive to um, what's going on around us, and then our minds just to be, to be ready to receive you in our hearts, God. We just thank you so much for who you are. Holy Spirit, just come. Lift up my friends here today. We just thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for joining me, even though it was a little late. Um, oh, that's awesome, Denise. Tears from the tears from the Lord. The Lord loves that. He absolutely loves that. So Psalm 37, 1 through 9. Ah, it's a great read. <laughs> Again, if you need some uplifting or you need to uplift somebody else, check out the Psalms and Proverbs. They're there for you. God wrote them down. So let's, uh, let's take advantage of them and, and, and let's encourage one another. So love you guys. Have a great Monday. Enjoy it today. It is gorgeous. Have fun. We'll see you on the flip side.